Do you want to prep smarter and not harder? Here are nine techniques that will help you learn five times faster. Number one, the Feynman technique. This is when you want to teach a practice problem or concept in a way that you're explaining it to a five-year-old. So you might realize you getting stuck when you're doing the, this explanation. And this is when you want to stop, review, and simplify your explanation. Number two, dual coding. Mix words with visuals or mix equations with visual diagrams. Number three, space repetition. You want to be the forgetting curve. And to do that, you want to allocate review sessions. Some students do this at the end of the week, once a week. Some students prepare doing review sessions at the end of each topic, maybe at the end of every two topics. It's all up to you. Number four, interleaving. Very important for the FE exam because it tests us on 110 questions for all the topics at once. Therefore, we want to prepare for that by mixing topics. For example, you want to do statics problems along with transportation problems at the same time to interleave both of them. Number five, mind maps. This is all about seeing the big picture. You want to draw connections between topics. For example, in fluid mechanics, we apply the Bernoulli equation, the continuity equation, the darcy weisbach equation. All of those are going to be applied in water resources when we analyze practical problems. There's connections. That's what we mean by mind maps. It's all about seeing the big picture. Number six, chunking. Break down your study sessions into chunks and also break down the topics into chunks. You do not want to just say, I want to study statics. You're going to break that down into a chunk and focus on, let's say, statics force vectors. Then you're going to focus on a chunk of practice problems and master those really well. Number seven, the 80 20 rule. Focus 20% of your time on the concepts that will show up 80% of the time. And they're there for the FE exam common unit conversions, common application of formulas, the fundamentals like statics, force vector, shear moment diagram, more circle, the basics. Number eight, the SQ3R method. Don't just watch video solutions. Don't just look at videos. Apply this method where the S is surveying the video solution, surveying the lesson. Then we have the Q, which is questioning what you're reading and learning. Then we have the three R's. This is when you want to read, recite, and review you're doing all of this, you're on the right track. Number nine, the dip. You're going to hit a low point in your learning journey. Expect it, but you're going to push through it. You're going to keep going and you're not going to quit. You're going to overcome this dip and continue to make progress leading up to your exam day.